Okay, let's make a speaker with aluminum foil. And I saw this online, I wanna try it. So the main idea is I'm gonna take this aluminum foil and that strong magnet, and I'm gonna run current through the aluminum foil and move up and down and make noise. So to start with, you need uh, some type of audio input. I took an old speaker and I cut it. So this is gonna have two sets of wires. This one has two sets of wires. Sometimes I only have three total. And this is for one channel and I've already stripped the wires so th that's where I'm going to hook it up to or I could use I'm use this one right here so this I'll plug into my computer and play the music and I'll hook it up to this so the first thing I want to do is to uh, mount this I'm going to tear a little strip up like that on both ends so I can connect my wires and now I'm going to tape it to these blocks sorry I have my tape so I'm going to tape this down nice and tight and then I'm going to tape this to the other end. Okay, there. Now I have my mounted metal. My magnet is already underneath it. I'm going to connect my two wires here. So I'm going to use these alligator clips because they're useful. Uh, I'm going to clip one to this end. And then the other to this end. And then I'm going to connect those to one of the pairs of wires. Let's see, which is better? Let's use this one. That one and that one. Now I'm gonna plug this into my computer to get some royalty-free music. And I'm gonna play it. I'm just going, this is at bensound.com. Royalty-free music. It's playing. You probably can't hear it though. So I'm going to, I can hear it. I'm gonna uh, increase the current. So what I'm gonna do next is to run, I'm gonna take apart this speaker and let's just do this all in one fell swoop. And I've already taken the screws out and use the amp in this to power that. So if I take this apart, yeah, that's pretty easy. You see right here, instead of going to the speaker, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cut those wires, and I'm gonna go to this, that should be easy. And then you get my knife. I thought I'd have to do this in two takes, but I think I can do it in one. So I got my scissors for my Swiss Army knife. Cut that, cut that. Okay, so that's my speaker, I don't need that. So now in my amplifier, I just need to strip these two wires and then connect my connect the output from the speaker from the from the computer to this and then this to that so let's strip these there's better ways to do this but it doesn't have to be perfect one oh you know oh there's my power okay okay so there i have that now I'm going to take this and I'm going to disconnect and connect the output to that and this right here. Then if I turn them, what happens? Okay, so that's fine. So now this is plugged in and I have this is the, the, the cord from, actually I shouldn't have cut that. I could have just plugged this straight into the computer. Too late now, huh? So now I just need to connect this to my computer and I'll use some more clip wires. It's a little bit more messy than I wanted it to, to be, but that's the way life is sometimes, you know? One more wire. Okay, let's see if this works. So I have my power on. I'm going to play a song. I don't hear anything. Hmm. Power on. Aha, 
you know what? I'm gonna switch these. So I may have it on the wrong channel. Let's see if that does it. Nope. That stinks. Let's try this one more time. Switch this back over here. Now I'm going to switch the other wires. Oh, that one wasn't connected. Well, that's weird. Wait. There it goes. That's turned up as long as it goes. Okay, let's see if you can hear that. I can hear it. You may not be able to, but there you go, the speaker. Let's try. Put it on top. Okay, there you go. Speaker with the aluminum foil, that's pretty cool. 